Welcome back to the program. Now, the Pakistani entertainment industry says that it's been taken over by the news. With developments every hour, every minute, it is the most popular thing to watch on TV right now. And I mean, this is not an ad for Dawn News. It, it really is. But news can be violent. In fact, it most frequently is that. It's disturbing enough for me and you. What do you think it's like to watch men burning tires in the streets and hear stories of three-year-old girls having been raped and murdered when you're about five, six, seven, eight years old, or even in your early teens? Dr. Ashiruz Rahman is a consultant pediatrician at the AKUH, and Dr. Naeem Siddiqui is a consultant psychiatrist there. They are with us here live in our Karachi studio this morning to answer our questions. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast at Dawn to both of you. Um, so, you know, there's, there's no denying the fact that there is a lot more violence on uh, television. I'm going to start with you actually, Dr. Uh, Siddiqui, and ask you as a psychiatrist, what kind of effect does it have on our kids, on, on, on their mental well-being? I think, uh, as, as you have already said, that for the last, especially in the last decade, we have seen a lot of violence. And all over the world, there are scientific studies to suggest that how violence affects uh, children. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have those sort of robust scientific studies, although there are reports and some of the experts have studied uh, those effects. But uh, by and large, it also depends that what they have seen, how long they have been seeing, and what is the level of the violence they have witnessed. I'll just give you a very uh, sort of brief example. I think just three days ago, um, uh, my own sort of uh, nephew, who was about four years old, uh, took out a stick and said, I'm going to uh, hit those people who are doing the load shedding. Oh. And then he brought, uh, he said, no, no, I want to use a hammer. Now, a four-year-old is saying that is pretty alarming. That's right. And uh, the, 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 as, as I was saying, that these are the things which he is probably imitating. He is not thinking through. But when it goes beyond that, then it does affect their thinking, it does affect their behavior and it does affect their emotions and their interaction uh, with their peer group. All right, so and I also want to ask Dr. Shiruz before we go off on a break because we are close to the hour. I want to ask you very briefly, we'll talk about it in detail when we come back from the break. Um, you know, everybody knows that kids are sitting in front of the TV all the time now. There are all kinds of campaigns to get over that. How does it affect them, apart from the fact that they're becoming obese? Uh, television and uh, its exposure, that is one part of the media. We'll talk about the other, other parts later. But definitely sitting in front of television is making them obese, is exposing to, uh, to graphic uh, news all the time. And uh, in the, most of the children uh, are spending more than five to six hours a day, though we don't have any hardcore studies on it, uh, which is making their verbal skills uh, less developed with time. Uh, they are not being exposed to communication, which is face-to-face -face communication. So interaction, peer interaction, which was an essential component in the past, and reading habits, they are also going down. So not only obesity is a problem, but the cognitive development of a developing brain is also suffering by being in front of television all the time. Okay. Um, well, what do you think about, I mean, something that one doesn't even really look at, really, but, you know, things like billboards and, you know, or, or specifically children's shows. What are children's shows about the, uh, these days, Dr. Nain? Uh, I think that if you see that the impact of the billboards may not be as much as watching TV. It's uh, just straightforward if you see the, 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 the quantity of and, and the time they spend in front of the TV has no comparison what they see while going through their cars or just standing there from the billboard doesn't mean that they don't have the, the impact uh, on them, uh, yet maybe not as much as the TV or the mobile or the internet or the messages, they, they do have the impact on them. As far as the, the, the programs, children programs uh, may I are just concerned. Say, may I just say at this point that when I'm you know, the, at, at parked at a traffic light and I see that billboard with that burger on it, <laughs> I literally have to look away. I, ca I can't look at it because the moment I look at it, and I'm in my 30s, okay, so <laughs> I'm a real sucker for advertising. The moment I see it, I, will, I start craving a burger. Yeah, but, uh, but, but the difficulty is, is that, that that is only one picture. While here, when, when you see the burger or when you see the address of the of, uh, ad of the Coke, 
then it's also associated with having <laughs> a very good uh, sort of quality time and it, it is the ads are associated with happiness the ads are associated with bonding with the family the ads right. are associated with fun right. well because that is just one stationary picture it may not have the same impact and and the other thing is th this is the repetition of those things and there is plenty of evi evidence that if you keep repeating something then somehow you start to believe in that 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 is good and 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 that is how uh, those those ads affect on the other hand if you see the uh, unfortunately in in our country we do do not have those quality children programs as we right. could see in the west so it it doesn't sort of equate that there are bad or good programs and you can select or choose which one th they should watch we have very limited selection or choice in in terms of that and you still have to revert back again to the programs which were prepared in the west uh, doesn't mean that they are not good or they shouldn't watch but as far as our own country is concerned we are not making the programs specific for uh, learning for, for learning for purposes. learning for children uh, like while we things. are spending a lot of energy a lot of uh, investment on making certain ads making those program which promote uh, sort of those behaviors uh, which are not desirable um, for instance the all these game shows for children which is just constantly making them you know want money and win prizes and be competitive Wow, those are some great qualities, aren't they? Well, thanks so much for being part of the program this morning. It's been really great talking to you, Dr. Nain Siddiqui, and as well as you as well. It's time now uh, for us to take a very short break. We are going to be right back. Do stay with us here on Breakfast at Dawn.